And as a matter of fact, he himself has confirmed that he was indeed offered the Colorado job. Now, I'm going to give an unpopular opinion. Yes, I have an HBCU bias, but still, I really feel this way. Not all Power 5 jobs are created equal. We got to be real about that. There are certain Power 5 jobs that are not good jobs in terms of realistic expectations. One of those jobs happens to be Colorado. Colorado is not a program that you could ever really legitimately consider making a playoff. Hell, not, forget the playoffs. Having a New Year's Day bowl game. Orange Bowl, Citrus Bowl, Peach Bowl. No. Now, can they improve and get to a point where they're in the middle of the conference? Maybe win seven, eight games one year or two? You know, can they be an average team that can move to the middle of the conference? Possibly. But the fact of the matter is, it's not a good program. The only intriguing thing about it would be maybe the money and the fact that it's Power 5. But outside of that, I don't think it's a better job than Jackson State. And let me tell you why. Jackson State is becoming a big deal at the FCS level. If Jackson State ever decided to regularly go into the FCS playoffs, I think... At a certain point, they get to a position where they could challenge for a national championship. Not right now, but some years down the line. Prime stays there, give it five or six years. I think they can seriously challenge for a national championship. Winning an FCS national championship at Jackson State and HBCU, that is a much bigger deal than winning seven or eight games at Colorado. It just is. Quite frankly, nobody outside of Colorado cares about the Colorado program. But all of black America cares about Jackson State, even the haters. And, and unfortunately, there's a lot of those. I said there would be, and there are. But you, could you imagine Jackson State in the FCS championship game versus North Dakota State, who's a staple in that, in that game, the, the premier program at that level, could you imagine the attendance, the viewership of that game? Every black HBCU alumni would either try to attend or watch that game because this would be a win for HBCUs. This would be HBCUs climbing to the mountaintop. Also, him staying at Jackson State is shining a light on black college sports in general. I'm, I don't remember this much buzz, this much talk, this much hype, this much fanfare around HBCU sports up until the last couple of years. He means much more to HBCU sports than he does to the Power Five. If he were to take Jackson State to the mountaintop, I wouldn't care what nobody else said to a lot of black folk. He'd be the greatest coach of all time. Forget Nick Saban. Forget John Harbaugh. Forget, forget all of that. You take Jackson State at HBCU and win a national champion, man. Huh, huh. Just his presence and him doing what he's doing is raising the caliber of the product at HBCUs. It's raising the type of athlete we get. It's raising the, the attendance. It's raising the viewership. It's raising the money. Facilities are going to be upgraded. Jerseys are going to be upgraded. Travel is going to be up. Man. He means way more to us than he will ever mean to them. Especially you take a Colorado. For what? He's already in the South. He can already recruit Florida and Texas. At that FCS level, enough to where he can really build something great down there. It's not like they offered him Miami, Florida State, Georgia. It's Colorado. That's like taking a Purdue job. Like, why? Honestly, I don't think he's going to leave yet anyway. I think if he does leave, I think he's going to leave the same times as his sons. 
But yeah, I gotta be real with you, man. I <laughs> I want Prime to stay. Stay for a long, you know, stay for a while, man. We got so much buzz around us. We got so man, it's a it's a beautiful time to be at a HBCU, to be a HBCU alum. It's a beautiful time right now. Come on, Prime. Don't, don't, don't take the collar up. Stay. Stay, brother. Stay. 